Hey guys, okay, so tomorrow I am going to be flying on an airplane and it's not one of my most favorite things to do just because it makes me feel like super um, dehydrated and a lot of people I know tend to get bloated when they travel on airplanes and there's reasons for this. So I wanna tell you what I'm going to do, what I have been doing today and some of the things that I always have with me when I travel so that I sort of can maintain this balance within my body, within my gut, and not basically feel like crap. So the first one is like boring, but it's so true, which is water. So, you know, the changing of altitude, a lot of times you have to get up at the stupidest hour of the day just to get to the airport and you don't feel like eating anything. And because of like security problems, like you can't bring your green juice all the way through, right? So um, I'll go into this. But the first thing to do is to make sure that you're not dehydrated, which is really a big problem for a lot of people. We're chronically dehydrated. And um, so amping up your water even more than you usually do is a really, really important thing. So like definitely don't go drinking the night before. I've done that and then almost passed out on an airplane. Just ask my friends. They tried not to laugh. It was miserable. They had to give me oxygen and that actually worked, which is a, a clue about how oxygen is so vital. And one thing that I do is I have these oxygen drops that I add to my water bottles and it's a little bottle. Um, I'll grab another one I have in my fridge. There's two varieties I use. Okay, so one, this is called cell water. And so it's basically helping your cells to open up and absorb the hydration more effectively and efficiently. And then I have another one that I will post in the link below. Um, that is more oxygen infused. So these are both travel friendly size. So I'm gonna bring these in my bag and you know just keep using them today. I do them daily, but you know it's something you can bring along. And um, the other thing is to add lemons and limes to your water the day before and then like when you get there um, as much as you can. So the reason that we're adding lemons is not just because we want to cleanse our liver. That is a side effect, a bonus. But when you put lemons and limes in your water, it helps your body to become more alkaline. And that's what we want. So lemons. And then I'm also bringing, also bringing my lemon essential oil. Um, just because I probably won't have a kitchen and a cutting board and a knife in my hotel room. Too bad. I wish all hotel rooms had that. But this is just, you know, efficient. So I'm bringing this so that I can always have my lemons, um, you know, like on the plane and when I get there and when I wake up in the mornings um, to stay super hydrated and cleanse, you know, all the good things. So the hydration in the water, the lemons in the water, the limes in the water. When you're going, you know, out to eat, most people eat out when they're traveling. Um, ask for lemons and limes, but what I like to do is ask for a whole lemon, and um, I'd like to cut it myself because sometimes the knives are gross, but that's just me being a little OCD about stuff. Okay, so next, next is teas. So when you are on the airplane, you know when they bring the cart through, like this is why the airlines need to hire me and I'm working on it. So there's like really no choices in these things that are complimentary. Of course they're complimentary. They're like cheap, you know? So we don't want to be drinking pop. No, no, no. We don't want to be drinking alcohol. We don't want to be having like candy bars and like the foods that are available. So that's why you have to be smarter than the system. You have to think ahead because when you get through security, a lot of times there's not that great of options. And when you're on the plane, there's really limited options. So I've been on too many planes where I'm starving because I didn't go get a salad or because I didn't search it out ahead of time. And these are some of my tips that, that really, really, really help. So bring your herbal teas. 
herbal teas are amazing for when you wake up in the morning. Hotel rooms have little coffee pots. You don't need the coffee per se. You can just use the hot water feature and then brew your own tea because most of the teas they give you are like um, English breakfast tea, um, which is super acidic and caffeinated. Sometimes there's green tea, sometimes there's organic teas, but usually there's not these like really, really good herbal teas that, that I always talk about focusing on. So lemon balm is the one that I'm into right now. Good for the liver, good for the central nervous system, good for anxiety, calming the gut. So um, I'm gonna take this to have on the planes, in the mornings, and at night, okay? But you could do your other ones, dandelion, rose hips, um, all those all those different herbal teas. That's literally like medicine, okay? So bring your teas. Um, a little while ago this summer, I started to take CBD oil because I've been having like some major like emotional ups and downs and it's it's totally helped me like get over the edge and then be, been able to like see all the ways that it was coming through. Um, so Soul CBD is the brand that I love. You can't really see it too well, but um, I'll link that. I'm doing 500 milligrams. This is the peppermint one. It's really good. Like sometimes I just put it on my tongue. Sometimes I put it in my Four Sigmatic hot cacao at night with a little stevia, which is super delicious. Um, and sometimes I mix it into my, um, my Four Sigmatic chaga mushroom cold coffee ice lattes to make it like a peppermint latte. So that's good too. So I'm bringing this. Um, the next tip is when you wake up in the morning that you're traveling, like the first thing again is the lemon or the lime water and then extra water. And I recommend that you don't eat or don't eat a lot unless it's just a piece of fruit because um, unless you're feeling hungry, the stomach is sort of still settling into place. And then when you start to go up and change altitude, it's quite a lot of difference for the body. And then if you get into changing time zones, that's a lot of like equilibrium stuff that needs to be recalibrated and set. So what I do is I drink a lot of water. I get to the airport, I go through security. And then the first thing I do is I go and find the best quality of bottled water in the biggest size. And I buy one or two of them. So typically two, because one, I want to drink while I'm waiting for the plane, while I'm waiting to get on the plane, because when I do get on the plane, when you get on the plane, they don't have big Fiji bottle waters, you know, to give you. They give like a little cup and I don't know where that water came from. It's usually bottled, right? But it's not really enough. Like for we're basically made of water. So it should be our number one priority. Even before we start looking at how do I eat? What do I eat? I need to change what I'm eating. Water, water people. So get one or two if you have a family or need to be buying like a whole lot of waters and then gulp it down. Like start drinking that while you're sitting and waiting. It's the best thing that you can do. And then when I'm on the plane, I really usually don't eat a lot. Now, I know that there's some people this works better or worse for, um, but I have a defined sacral. So pe other people's um, desires and appetites around me don't affect me at all. I very much know what I want and what I don't want. And I'll look at something and be like, my body will be like, no or yes. So usually it works best for a lot of people just because so many people don't have the healthiest digestion anyways, but when you get up on airplanes, it sort of amplifies that, whatever's going on or not feeling well. So I typically don't eat a lot or I'll eat the fruit that I bring with me. So you always want to look for like your organic apples are apples and oranges oranges, you know, they're here or there, or bananas are typically the ones that you see in the fruit baskets, right? At the little consoles on the side of the airport hallways or the little, you know, restaurants or whatever. But yeah, they're usually not organic and organic apples are so, so easy to travel with. So I usually bring multiples of those in my carry-on, lots of little like snacks and teas and oils and things like that so that I can like keep my own self healthy, right? Because it's like my priority. I need to feel good. So apples is like probably my number one go-to. And then dried fruits. 
So dates, and then I buy little packages of figs. I'll show you guys. Hold on. I should have got all this out. Okay. So here's all my stuff. I have to travel with my stuff. So these I got at, oh, I got it like at Home Goods. You know how it's funny, like stores that sell furniture, sell food? Sometimes I wonder how like old it is. Oh, it says it's good till December 2019. Okay, so we're safe. So figs and, and dried fruit, do not be afraid of dried fruit. Dried fruit is literally like soothing and saturating to your brain and your adrenals. So we need to be eating more of this kind of stuff and not thinking it's going to make us fat because that's a lie. Okay, so these are the cutest little figs. Also good fertility food, so watch out. So this is just made of organic dried figs. Great for your bag, okay? So you could get up in the airplane. You've already had your water. You've had your lemon water at home. You got through security. You got more water, and now you're sipping on your herbal tea, having some figs. That sounds amazing, right? Hopefully, like, listening to your meditation music at the same time. Okay, otherwise, dates. So you could, like, get packages of these or put them in little bags, okay? So those are the things that I would go for, real fruit or dried fruits and um, the tea bags, okay? And then basically, like, when you get there, you know, then you can figure out when you need to eat, so on and so forth. Um, I also bring my Four Sigmatic little coffee. So these are just granules that you put into hot water. So at home, I buy the tins because I just use it a lot in bulk. But these you can make in your hotel room. So my code is Food Rebel. If you want to get the discount, you can shop anytime at that link. I'll put it below. And then my other favorite is Moon Juice products. And I have some of these little satchels, little individual terrapins. This is Beauty Dust. You can bring your brain dust or dream dust or whatever. Everyone's really smart because they make little to-go packets of everything for us these days. Okay. And then here's my next thing. So I can't really show you per se, but what I'm going to do is when I get there or maybe even before, I'm going to use Instacart which you can save $10 with my link if you don't, haven't signed up for that too. But I'm going to use Instacart and have them deliver a bunch of like organic fruits and any kind of like snacks that we want or need to the hotel room, um, knowing that there's probably not going to be a huge refrigerator, but you know, that stuff can be sitting out on the counter and you always have something like to go snack on if you feel hungry or you're out and about. So that's my newest um, health hack for traveling. And I love it. So one more thing you can do is look up your airport ahead of time, look up the restaurants. And a lot of them these days will let you search by like vegan, vegetarian. Usually I look for those even if you aren't vegan or vegetarian, because it usually means there's more plants, which is always the answer. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, make sure you check out Fueled and Focus, my live group program that's starting November 15th, going through about Christmas time. So you're going to totally get your body healthy and in shape. Let it do what it knows how to do. I'm teaching you everything that I know about food, how to work with the energies of foods, with the times of the day, with the way your body's responding so you know what you're looking for, what you need to be putting in your body, the ways to put it in your body that are simple and easy and still let you have a social life and, you know, taste good. So fueled and focused, um, I'll put the link below for that. It's on my website and make sure you subscribe and share this video. I'll talk to you soon.